हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आर टॉपिक इज हनी बीज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट बीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंसेक्ट्स इन आर लाइफ बिकॉज दे प्रोवाइड अस हनी व्हिच इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर आर हेल्थ दे वर्क एज क्रॉप पॉलिनेटर्स बीज आल्सो हेल्प टू इंश्योर दैट सीड्स विल सेट फॉर मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ प्लांट दस इनेबलिंग अ पोर्शन टू बी गैदर्ड फॉर सोइंग अ क्रॉप फॉर द फॉलोइंग इयर्स दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट इवन फॉर लीफ क्रॉस सच एज सम ब्रेसिकास लाइक केल In bees, there are important bees known as queen bees, who has ability to decide the gender of the bee before laying the eggs. Here are some unknown facts regarding bees. A single bee can produce one tablespoon of honey in its lifetime. Bees can fly up to twelve mph. Bees maintain their hive temperature to keep in between ninety-three degree to ninety-five degrees. A queen bee can lay eight lag eggs in her whole life. A single bee weight is zero point zero 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 two five pounds. Four thousand bees together weight only one pound. Each bee hive contains minimum fifty thousand bees weighing twelve pounds together. Bee's diet consists of honey and pollen, but queen bee diet is richer in honey, which gives her fertility. Honey bee larvae hatch from eggs in three to four days and feed by worker bees. Types of bees: There are three types of bees: worker bees, drone bees, and queen bee. Number one, worker bees jobs. Worker bees are female but do not lay eggs and perform following jobs. Worker bees maintain housekeeping. Worker bees feed queen bee, drone bee, and larva. They also collect pollen and nectar. Worker bees make the wax. Number two, drone bees jobs. Drone bees are male and do not have sting on their back, and their job is to mate queen bee and sometimes security. Number three, we have the queen bees. Queen bees lay eggs and run the hive. Difference between queen bee larva and the worker bee larva: All bee larvas are fed some royal jelly for the first few days after hatching, but only queen larva are fed the jelly exclusively. As a result of the different in diet, the queen will develop into a sexually mature female, unlike the worker bees. Queens are raised in specially constructed queen cells. Here we are going to study the anatomy of a honey bee. Following is the diagram of internal organs of a bee. So let's discuss them. Number one, hatch salivary gland. Hatch salivary gland produces some compounds necessary for producing royal jelly. Number two, hypopharyngeal gland of worker bees contributes to the production of the royal jelly fats to queens and larva. Number three, there is thoracic salivary. gland thoracic salivary gland produces secretions mainly containing digestive enzymes that are involved in honey and sugar digestions number 4 oesophagus oesophagus is a tube that runs from the mouth in the hat through the thorax and into the crop in the abdomen the crop is a specialized part of pore gut for example store liquid food water nectar and honey dew species of honey bees there are seven different species of honey bees number 1 apis mellifera it is also known as western honey bee or european honey bee is the most common of the 7 to 12 species of honey bees worldwide number 2 apis dorsata the giant honey bee in nepal is a honey bee of south and southeast asia found mainly in forest areas such as dry of nepal number 3 e- Apis sarna the eastern honey bee asiatic honey bee or asian honey bee is a species of honey bee native to south then there were the dwarf honey bees or which we can say apis falra is one of two species of small wild honey bees of southern and southwest asia it has a much wider distribution than its sister species Apis andrenoformis or the black dwarf honey bee is a relatively rare species of honey bees whose native habitat is the tropical and subtropical regions of southeast asia then there is apis koskankivo honey bee is a species of bee which inhabits malaysian and indonesian borneo
Now we have the seven species of honeybee, which is Apis nigrosinta, is a species of honeybee that inhabits the Philippine island of Mindano, as well as the Indonesian islands of Sangai and Sulawesi. This species is known to have queens with the highest mating frequency of any species. As we discuss about honeybees, their types and their species, so how we forget to discuss that how honey is formed? So let's discuss about it. Honey starts as flower and nectar collected by bees, which gets broken down into simple sugar stored inside the honeycomb. The design of honeycomb and constant fanning of the bees' wings causes evaporation, creating sweet liquid honey. Honey is color and flavor vary based on the nectar collected by the bees. Honey bees take about 7 days to 2 months to build a honeycomb. This is all about today so thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell.